Ready to become instantly likable to everyone you meet all within the first 90 minutes of encountering them? Let's master the art of instant likability. Imagine the world as a giant mirror. It reflects to us the attitude we project. If we smile, the world smiles back. If we frown, well, you get the picture. The power of attitude is like the wind beneath our wings. It can lift us to great heights or drag us down to the depths. Let's take a look at two contrasting examples. First, consider someone with a positive attitude, someone who always sees the glass as half full. This person brims with optimism, seeing challenges as opportunities rather than obstacles. They approach life with a can-do spirit and believe in their ability to make a difference. When they walk into a room, their energy is infectious. People are drawn to them like moths to a flame. They create a positive ripple effect inspiring others to adopt the same upbeat outlook. On the flip side, imagine someone with a negative attitude. They see the glass as perpetually half-empty. They focus on problems, not solutions. They radiate pessimism and discontent, casting a gloomy shadow wherever they go. Rather than attracting people, they repel them. Their negativity spreads like wildfire, extinguishing the sparks of positivity in its path. Boothman underscores that our attitude is not fixed, it's not a trait we're born with, but a choice we make every single day. We can decide to be a beacon of positivity or a cloud of negativity. So how do we maintain a positive attitude? Boothman suggests a few strategies. First, practice gratitude. Recognize and appreciate the good in your life. Second, cultivate a growth mindset. Embrace challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. Third, surround yourself with positive influences. Seek out those who uplift you, not those who bring you down. Lastly, practice self-care. Take care of your physical, mental, and emotional health. In the end, it's important to remember that your attitude is your compass. It guides you through life's ups and downs, through calm seas and stormy weather. It's the lens through which you view the world. Remember, your attitude determines your altitude. The magic of synchrony. Let's dive into this fascinating concept. Synchrony is about mirroring or matching another person's body language, tone, and speech patterns. It's a subtle yet powerful way to establish a connection and build rapport with others. Imagine you're in a conversation with someone who's enthusiastic and expressive, using a lot of hand gestures. If you respond with a similar level of energy and use hand gestures too, you're practicing synchrony. You're subtly communicating I'm like you, I understand you. This commonality can help establish rapport and make the conversation more engaging and enjoyable for both parties. Synchrony isn't just about body language, it also involves matching the tone and pace of the person you're communicating with. If they're speaking slowly and softly, you might do the same. If they're speaking quickly and excitedly, you might match that pace. This creates a sense of harmony and mutual understanding in the conversation. But let's not forget about speech patterns. We all have unique ways of expressing ourselves. Some people might use specific phrases or words frequently. By subtly incorporating these into your own speech, you can further enhance the sense of connection. Now, let's consider an example. Picture two friends at a coffee shop. One of them is telling a story about a recent vacation. The listener matches the storyteller's excitement, leaning in, nodding, and echoing her friend's laughter. She uses similar phrases and mirrors the storyteller's expressions. This is synchrony in action, creating a shared experience and deepening their bond. However, it's important to remember that synchrony should be used subtly and authentically. Overdoing it can come off as mimicry or mockery, which can damage the connection you're trying to build. It's about finding the balance and ensuring your actions come from a place of genuine interest and empathy. So, next time you're in a conversation, try to incorporate some elements of synchrony. Match the body language, tone, and speech patterns of the person you're talking to. You might just find that it enhances your connection and makes the conversation more enjoyable. Synchrony, when used subtly, can be a powerful tool for connection. The art of asking questions. This skill, often overlooked, is a vital tool in our social toolbox. Asking the right questions isn't about prying or interrogating, it's about fostering understanding, empathy, and genuine connections. Let's consider an example. You're at a social gathering and you meet someone new. You could ask, what do you do for a living? It's a common question but it's limited and doesn't invite much conversation. Instead, try asking, what's your passion? This question opens up a world of possibilities. It invites sharing stories and a deeper understanding of who they are as a person. Now, imagine you're in a work setting. Instead of asking a colleague, did you finish that report? You could ask, how did you find working on that report? 
The latter question offers an opportunity for your colleague to share their thoughts, experiences, and even challenges they faced, promoting a deeper conversation and connection. In essence, the art of asking questions is about moving beyond the surface. It's about tapping into the human desire to share, connect, and be understood. It's about creating conversations that are meaningful, conversations that resonate. Remember, it's not just about asking questions, it's about asking the right questions. And the right questions aren't always the easy ones. They require thought, empathy, and a genuine interest in the other person. In conversations, the right questions can open doors to deeper connections. The importance of listening. In our daily lives, how often do we find ourselves merely waiting for our turn to speak, rather than truly listening? This chapter delves into the undeniable value of active listening, a skill that is not just about hearing, but understanding. Active listening is a powerful tool that goes beyond merely catching words that are being said. It involves understanding the intentions, emotions, and thoughts behind those words. It's about giving your complete attention to the speaker, showing empathy, and acknowledging their thoughts and feelings. When we actively listen, we build trust and understanding. It's a clear indication that we value the speaker's perspective, fostering a sense of respect and admiration. Active listening is the cornerstone for effective communication, and it's through this process that we create meaningful connections. Imagine this scenario. You are at a gathering with a friend who is sharing an experience of a recent trip. Instead of merely nodding and throwing in an occasional uh-huh, you ask them about the places they visited, the food they tried, or the people they met. By doing so, you're not only showing interest but you're also encouraging them to share more. This kind of interaction helps to establish a deeper connection and mutual respect between you. Or consider a business setting where a team member is presenting a new idea. Instead of waiting for your turn to speak, you take the time to understand their perspective, ask clarifying questions, and provide constructive feedback. This approach not only helps you to grasp the concept better, but it also signals to your colleague that their input is valued and appreciated. Such examples underline the power of active listening. It's not just a communication tool, it's a way to build stronger, more meaningful relationships, both personal and professional. So, the next time you find yourself in a conversation, remember, it's not just about waiting for your turn to speak, it's about understanding the other person, acknowledging their thoughts and showing them that you genuinely care. Listening isn't just about hearing, it's about understanding. The power of praise. This is a tool that we often underestimate or misuse, yet it holds a profound impact on our relationships. Genuine praise can work wonders, from strengthening bonds to motivating individuals to do better. Imagine you are working on a project, and your teammate has been putting in extra effort. Recognizing their hard work with a simple, you did a great job on this, can make them feel valued and appreciated. It's not just about the words, but the sincerity behind them. It tells them that their efforts are not going unnoticed, boosting their morale and encouraging them to continue giving their best. Praise not only applies in professional settings but also in personal relationships. A parent praising their child for their honesty, a friend acknowledging another's kindness, a spouse appreciating their partner's supportiveness, these are all instances where praise can foster a sense of respect and mutual appreciation. However, it's important to remember that praise must always be genuine and specific. Instead of a generic good job, try saying, your presentation was well-researched and engaging. This way the person knows exactly what they did well and feels encouraged to keep up the good work. Praise is like a magic ingredient that can add a positive flavor to any relationship. It can bridge gaps, build trust, and promote a sense of belonging. Remember everyone wants to feel appreciated. Praise has the power to transform relationships, use it generously. So, in a nutshell, to make people like you, you must remember these main points from the book, How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds, which starts with the power of attitude, the magic of synchrony, the art of asking questions, the importance of listening, and the power of praise. Each principle has its unique role in fostering genuine connections, improving interpersonal relationships, and expressing genuine interest and respect. Remember, making people like you in 90 seconds is less about impressing and more about expressing genuine interest and respect. But sometimes, these principles just aren't enough. As there is one huge obstacle that still stands in your way. Your mind? Do you ever find yourself in a room full of people seemingly having a good time, but your overthinking tendencies are preventing you from enjoying yourself? 
and no matter how hard you try, you keep ruminating over the same things over and over again, leading you to self-doubt and insecurity. If this is you, then it's imperative you watch this next video. Learn how to silence that inner critic, embrace authenticity, and captivate others with your true self. Stop overthinking and start connecting. This video will provide you with the tools to stop overthinking and start living in the now, which in turn will help you on your path to master the art of genuine likability. Until then, keep learning and growing.